I don't know how old it is, but this really is a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment, a carding machine. I've been doing my homework a little bit. This is wire. This is individual wire, flat on one side with little teeth on the, on the other side. I forgot what this thing's called already. Very tricky to, to re-spool it when you need to. And then there's little teeth on those rollers. And we are going to play with some different fibers, possibly uh, um, pineapple and the, the creme de la creme, the top of the food chain, lotus fiber. It takes 4,000 stems to make one scarf. And these guys on the old looms can do one inch in an eight hour shift. It's so fine, it's much finer than silk, it's crazy. So we're gonna make adjustments to these rollers by loosening this and then playing with that all in unison because there's the uh, same guys on the other side. I don't know why this cylinder is missing. I think I've seen it around. But anyway, there's lots of them. I think there only needs to be three. Very cool. And there's the engage there, which is this little unit here. You can just see down there, maybe. I'm having some issues opening this. I need to uh, play. I don't want to break anything. You know me, I'm too uh, aggressive with everything, but I would suggest this is about 70 years old. Very, very cool. Here's a uh, Mitsubishi motor, main motor. Looks like about a two horsepower and horsepower equivalents. So this is where you feed in. You just put it on here, and this has its own little motor, I believe, down here also. Uh, yeah, that little, maybe a mini mitts there. And uh, check out all the grease nipples, the grease points. I'm just wondering, I've asked the boss who's back away, back in Japan, if it's lithium, I don't know what I'm even talking about. Uh, sexy grease, diff different kind of grease. But very cool. Very, very cool. Tons of belts. Very, very cool. And of course, it weighs a ton. Belt tensioner. Where's the belt? Why that? I don't know what that does. This is a belt tensioner here, I think. And you'd think there'd be more. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Some kind of power. And it's the same with that one. I don't know what those are. That and that. Again. But very, very cool. So we'll get this baby fired up. I suspect. And this is a cleaner cleans it further and then this is final cleaning coming out of there and it's ready to go processed uh, for spinning those are the gins underneath there very cool first cleaning second cleaning and I think that this is the same this is another carding it's called carding machine yeah the girls have had this one fired up it's got some power there but we haven't hooked power up to the other one this is the workshop um, Everything is just covered because it's crazy dust. Oh, and this guy, I've got to fire this, fire this Jenny up. I like to get it going a couple times a week, just for fun. Absolutely wonderful, you know, typical Japanese. Very, very cool. lose a finger with many tools all Bosch I want about a dozen Bosch electric e-bikes and this is old school I think this was from the uh, beautiful retail showroom that was in CM Reap but post COVID is not it's here I think these guys have uh, painted all this stuff with um, the anti-termite stuff Ooh, this looks like an old gin 
amazing. I've learned a lot about the co cotton business. Very cool. This is mostly for show now. And then next is the metal stuff. Okay, so here we're making paper. So you put raw material into this thing. Dutch cutter goes around it very loud, very simple, probably very old. Set the tolerances, the thickness, and it just does its thing for three, four hours, chops it all up, and then they take it from there and put it in here, the bath, and then put it in those racks and put it in the sun. And the trick is here to get it all uniform, to get it the same thickness. You don't want high spots and low spots, you want all the same thickness. So it dries in the sun, and then they put this cognac stuff on it, which is, uh, you can't see it, and you don't drink it. You, uh, it, It's just to, to strengthen the paper. This is some of finished stuff here. So this is going to be uh, botanical leather. There's some more stuff here. I'll show you a cool little thing. There's more passports and wallets. There. The girls are drying there. We're really making paper in earnest now because the uh, rainy season is coming. This is first attempt. This is a little clunk clunky and chunky. You can see a little too thick. Old school American style. We're trying to get it more, more to an Italian style which this is, this has got potential here, pretty thin. And then this is uh, like a lap laptop case, which is groovy. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, that was you. It's got potential, but you just gotta watch the cracks on this when you, when you fold. But it will hold up, it will break itself in. Burp back in the day when you'd buy a pair of leather shoes it took you three weeks and ten blisters to break them in well this is going to be similar i think so this is the raw raw product here there it is there now speaking of raw product that stuff has been cleaned and then he's got this unit in here that he think he's made for god's sakes this is very cool this spins it this hasn't been going this is all really sad though because of covid but this is a going concern here spinning all this groovy stuff here there's more of the the raw product here and really raw stuff in there so it goes from there into the gins there's two old Indian machines from the 50s little things that you sit in front of and loud all day long kunk, 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 to clean and then uh, clean more This is some beautiful stuff here. Very soft. Very, very soft. Yeah, it smells cool. Ah. But we've been we would be going like a house on fire if it wasn't for the kaka COVID. Now let's see, I'll show you the girls are doing their thing. Yeah, we boil stuff up there to and make this cognac and some very cool natural dyes. Some of the colors are really, really cool. It uses all kinds of natural stuff, little potions and concoctions and stuff. Very, very cool. The, uh, the bosses are very talented, the Japanese cats, typical Japanese. They're, uh, they're cool and very precise. I love it. Synthetic proteins, chemicals. This is some stuff in there for making um, making the colors very very cool but we're not doing that can't see the girls painting it's right now it's really just processing paper 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 because of the rainy season coming and the press squeeze out the water from that unit that's been up and down i think because it sits on an angle it's not giving an even press but we'll figure that out there we go here it's further processing when they make it soft. There's Miss Wonderful there doing her thing. Or Miss Fabulous. Crunch, 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 crunch. So the issue is to uh, get it you know, a little bit worked in and pliable so we can s s sew it and it's uh, like leather, but very, very cool. 
Very cool. Anyway, onward and upward.